Yo, what's going on? It's your boy, Mr. Locario, the bad boy of the dating game. So ladies, listen, in this video, I'm going to tell you the one thing that you can do to keep a man interested in you. It's really simple and a lot of women don't do this, right? So the one thing you can do is to never put pressure on the man you're dating. So what do I, what do I mean by this? That means don't put pressure on him to uh, commit to you. Don't put pressure on him to, you know, uh, go on second and third dates with you. Don't put pressure on him to call you. D no pressure at all at any time. You're probably like, what, what you, what's going on, right? So basically what that means is, is that when you're interacting with this guy and you're dating him and you're, you know, doing your thing, right? Enjoy the moment that you're having with him, but do not pressure him to, uh, take it to the next level or pressure him to do this or do that. Because the thing is, the what makes a man want to actually stick with you and be with you is to know that he had the freedom to really make that choice on his own and he wasn't pressured into feeling like he should have did it. You understand? Because when you are a woman who is just having a good time, who is just enjoying herself, right? He gets to see the real you. He gets to, you know, experience how you are when you're just relaxed and calm and chilling. And that's what makes him want to get with you, right? But the pressure that you put on a guy, that's the thing that makes him want to run away. See, the problem is this. What's going to happen is you're going to run into a guy that you really like you're going to go out on a date with him and then you'll probably start dating him. And so you like this guy so much that you want to, oh, you, you're like, I, I, I want him to be my boyfriend. I want him to be my man. I want to be with this dude and all this other stuff. So then you start to sort of panic and try to, you know, uh, lock it down. Do you understand? But the thing is, is by you doing that, that's the thing that scares the guy away. Now, the truth about all of this is, is that, you know, there are going to be some guys who you really like who are not going to be with you for the long term regardless of what you do, right? Then there's going to be guys who you really like who would have kept seeing you, but you put too much pressure on them. You understand? So you're losing out on guys who could have wanted to be with you, but because you put that pressure on him, he got scared off. You understand? So it's like this, like, let's say this is you and this is the guy, right? Now, you guys are both right here. You're dating or whatever, right? Now, if you're just chilling and having fun and doing all this, you're, you're just standing right here. You're just hanging out. You're just like, yeah, you know, call me whenever. Uh, you know, hit me up when you have some time. Uh, you know, uh, it, was good, it was good meeting you. We'd love to do this again. Whatever. It's all good. You're just chilling here, right? Now, by you not putting the pressure on, that makes him want to get closer to you because he's like, oh, this girl is the only girl who is not sweating me to the point where she's like becoming crazy and all over the place, right? So he's like, I want to get closer to her, right? But what usually happens is the girl's here, the guy's here, and she's like, so when are you going to call me again? So when are we going to do this? So when are we going to do that? How come this? And then he's like, yo, he's running the fuck away. You understand what I'm saying? So all that pressure you're putting on him is making him want to leave, right? See, the thing is, the guy needs space in order to figure things out um, to, to wonder if he wants to take it to that next step with you. You understand? But what makes it easier for him to figure that out is when he realizes that you're the type of woman who isn't pressuring him because now he's thinking, oh, wow, I'm dating... Uh, this girl, that girl, and that girl. He's dating like three or four girls while he's dating you. And he's noticing that you're the only girl who's not pressuring him. You're the only woman who is not, uh, you know, like sweating him and trying to get him to do all these different things and all up in his business and calling him 10 times a day and everything else like that. So he's like, wow, like I really like her and I don't want to lose her. And, you know, and, and I'm, I'm being I'm even more attracted to her because I feel like I'm free with her. I don't feel this like uh, uh, this this pressure to do this or be this way. I'm going to want to keep seeing her right now. This is only going to happen if, you know, there's no pressure on your part when you're when you're interacting with him. And also he needs to be a guy 
who actually wants a relationship. Because the thing is, sometimes you're going to run into guys who, no matter what you're doing, they're just not going to want to uh, keep it going. They're just going to want to have sex or just do it casually. And that's cool. But the thing is, is that there are going to be guys who actually might be looking for that or who would, wouldn't would mind being with a woman for the long term and who actually want who are, or who actually want to make that happen but the the problem is, is that when that pressure happens that sort of scares them off so it's like you have to give them that space to want to come to you do you understand what i'm saying and by having that no pressure attitude right that's the thing that makes the guy want to do that now what you have to understand is this is that you also have to uh, live a lifestyle of being the type of woman who doesn't pressure men. You understand? Because what's going to happen is you're going to meet a guy that you really like and you're going to be like, oh, okay, well, I'm not going to pressure him and then it's still not going to work out, meaning he's not going to call you back or something's not going to happen and then you're going to be upset. You're going to be like, oh, this sucks. I thought, you know, I thought this was going to really work out. I'm trying this whole thing or whatever. But it's not necessarily just about any one particular guy. It's about you having the energy of a woman who doesn't pressure men in general. So what's going to happen is it might not be that one particular guy, but you're going to find another guy that you like or any of these guys that you like, and you're going to actually connect with one of those dudes that you can actually have a fulfilling relationship with, right? But the problem is the reason why so many women are still single or so many women don't really have, uh, you know, a, a situation going with a, a good guy is because every time they get with a dude that they like, they're like pressuring him just automatically. Like women will go on dates and, you know, have conversations like, so, you know, what, what are you, what are you looking for? And, and, you know, well, I'm, I'm looking for a serious relationship. And if you're not trying to have that serious relationship, then, you know, I don't think we should be together. I'm like, you know, so it's like, you're putting all this pressure on, just relax, calm down, you know, have some fun, interact with these guys. And then you will see the difference where you're going to have the guys who are going to be coming after you. Do you understand what I'm saying? Because by you not pressuring him, you separate yourself from so many other women. And the reason why most guys do not commit to women a lot of times is because a lot of women sort of will do things that bunch them up in the same category as every other woman. So they don't stand out. And it's like, well, you're like every other girl, so why should I commit to you? What's the point? I can just go get another girl here and there and do my thing. But if you stand out and you differentiate yourself and you are that different type of girl, now he has to come to you to get that. You understand? He has to come to you to be able to get you because he can't find a type of the type of girl you are anywhere else because you're doing it differently. Do you understand what I'm saying? So... Do not pressure these guys. I know it's going to be hard because, you know, you really like them. You, you, you think it's going to go well and you think, oh, well, let me just, uh, uh, how about I just call him again? I know I called him uh, twice today and he didn't pick up. Let me call him again to see what's going on. No, just relax. It's okay. It's okay. Like, just chill. And when you relax and, you, and there's no pressure, all the things that you want are going to come to you. Now, before you turn off this video, I want you to do two quick things. One, I want you to click the link below and send me your questions. If you have any questions on dating and relationships, I'll make a video about it. And two, I want you to click the link under that to get my free audio program, Seven Highly Effective Steps for Finding and Keeping a Man. And I'll talk to you guys later. Remember, the truth is inside you. Peace. I'm gone.